Okay, so Amazon just went ahead and made it made a huge acquisition of buying Whole Foods for 13.7 billion dollars, right? Now, what does that mean? Uh, I mean, my my kind of perspective on it is because I'm I'm really Im, like implicated in a lot of industries because we have a lot of clients in a lot of different industries and that's just how we do it. We tend to get a lot of a macro perspective on how the economy works and we really want to understand that as me and myself as well. So. I think what Amazon is really doing with its acquisition, first off, is going to be huge. But what I really think their plan and strategy is, um, is they're going to use it as a distribution play in order for them to have access to distribute their products and actually do, go into fresh product delivery and do all that really, really effectively. And the thought process behind this is, well, if I'm Amazon and I want to go into distributing fresh products to people's homes or to distribution centers where people can go and get their food. Well, how do I do that? Well, I know that food is really like, goes stink really, really fast. So I need to deliver it in a fastly manner, like an hour or two. So for that, I will need a lot of really good positioned real estate. Well, we all know that good, really, really good positioned real estate is occupied already by McDonald's, by all these big chains and, and restaurants. So in order for them, to get access to that distribution play, they had to play a role in which they have to buy another player that's first gonna sell as a distribution play to them, uh, to allow them to distribute products. And second, of course, the retail side of things and the commerce side of things. But I think the bigger, 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 the kind of big picture game that they're doing is they're really, really investing in the long term in order to become a distributor and a seller online of all products and these distribution centers will allow them to do that because there's again not not even food but there's a lot a lot of products that need to be delivered really really fast and they this play whole foods will allow them that right um now in terms of like their strategy and their tech and they're kind of like what i think they're doing is uh they're really really smart right firsthand they're really really smart I've been following them for a while and kind of the, their economical process, reading their annual reports and their R&D, first off, like, like first off, their R&D numbers are crazy, right? Like research and development, the percentages that they're spending is just, are just huge, right? They're not listening to Wall Street. They're not following the, the, the normal path. They're just going after the long term and the, the most long term result they can go, which shows immense wisdom in the Jeff Bezos side of things and in the, in the leadership and management of the company because that's gonna pay off so, so much. So, I mean, I'm not gonna even, even go there, but they have they show so much ad adaptability, so much speed. They are really innovative, right? Which is, obviously, it's not that good in the short term, but really, really good in the long term. So they're just, they're just smart. They're just smart in their approach of, of taking things and just betting on them. Um, I think retail, it's just kind of an example to give us a little bit of perspective of how retail and other industries will be disrupted in the next three to five years. And I'm talking like fashion, I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking retail, I'm talking food, I'm talking technology, I'm talking transportation and accommodation, which have already been disrupted by Uber and Airbnb. So I think this is going to be just huge. Uh, really looking forward to, to see how things play out and what these gangsters, uh, these big folks are doing. Um, it's incredibly fascinating to watch and look. Again, if you're in your space right now, what you need to do, what you, you should take away from this video is become more adaptable. Get more si speed into your company system because if you don't, at the rate of things that people are, that, that things are changing and people are moving, you're just not going to be able to keep up, right? And as the ball keeps rolling down, it gets bigger and bigger. So if you let a player in your industry like Amazon get that big, you're not gonna be able to keep up. It's just the momentum is too much, it's too big. So I know not all of you are in retail, but for those of you that are, it seems like a trouble, right? But for those of you that are not, there's an Amazon in your in your industry, right? Or you're the Amazon in your industry, in which case you need to keep up that momentum, but don't let the momentum happen at that level because it's gonna be so hard to, uh, to keep up with. And if you're the person that creates the momentum, bet on long term, right? Be smart about your decisions. It just makes so much sense what they're doing. And that's why I'm excited about making this video because I think it's gonna 
uh, really impact our macro economy in a really fastly and interesting matter in the next kind of couple of years. So that's kind of my perspective on it. Um, again, from our marketing perspective, from running my agency and all these things, I'm really looking forward to changing really fast and adapting to the people's needs and behavior of the customers based on how people adapt and VR and AR and all these things. I think is going to be amazing. So really excited about that and I hope you are too. Please tag your friends, share, like, comment, and let me know if you have any questions or thoughts about this. I'm really curious to see yours and we'll see you in the next video.